Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What's up guys, Dota Academy here, and today we're counting down the top 5 most expensive couriers in Dota 2. Number 5 is the auspicious Jin and Yin Fox Spirits at £189.15. This uh, courier is, is quite expensive for the reason that it came from New Bloom Festival 2014, so you had to take part in that event which took place January to February, and it comes in a auspicious quality which is a rare quality obtained only from this event. Moving on to number four, we've got the Legacy Trusty Mountain Yak at £194.46. So the reason this courier is so expensive is that it was actually removed from the store during 20, June 2013 and its quality was changed to, its rarity rather, was changed to Immortal. So there's like, you can still buy it on the market, but the legacy version, which like the pre-2013 patch versions are the ones that are expensive and the ones that are rare. Moving on to number three, we've got the Defense Season 2 War Dog at £217.28. So this item could only be unboxed from the Defense 2 chest given to those who purchased the Defense 2 ticket within only the first few weeks of the tournament. It was handed out as an apology. It comes with an ethereal gem and a prismatic defensive red gem so it has nice particle effects moving on to number two we've got the lava baby roshan at 274 pound 86 so this extremely expensive and rare career can only be obtained on perfect world servers from roshan's gift which was a special item given out only on these particular servers however you could also obtain it from a promotional code by purchasing the Roshan statue, uh, it comes in a genuine quality, and it's an immortal rare. And number one, the most expensive curry in the game right now is Jumo, and it's at £283.42. So the reason this seemingly unassuming courier is so expensive, it's all about the treasure that you obtain it from. It's treasure of the fractured prison. And it's actually an uncommon rarity treasure, but the only way you could have gotten this treasure was by playing on Nexon servers, which are South Korean servers, and you had to participate in a friend recruiting event. So that's that explains why it's so expensive. And yeah, so those are the top five most expensive couriers right now in Dota 2. Now the prices mentioned in this video can fluctuate depending on the community market and the way that the prices go up and down on there. But on behalf of Nero and myself, thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.